uh, Mr. Watson, uh, Michael Wolf, of course, uh, doing this with the utmost respect for uh, and consideration, uh, especially uh, accommodating my disabilities, my inability to communicate very well. Um, I just need to express um, my feelings and beliefs in the situation. Um, I'm being extremely objective. Uh, I will be as emotionless as I can be. Uh, my assessment is purely um, uh, objective, purely from my experience, and I believe can be confirmed fully. Um, Zach has uh, not succeeded in becoming a man who can take care of himself. Um, the fault is of a developmental nature. Um, you can take responsibility for it, or you can shirk that responsibility. It's uh, um, uh, it's up to you. I don't. Uh, it's not for me to say or do. But uh, um, he was uh, not provided with the full set of tools to be able to take care of himself in society for whatever reason, and I have had to take care of him um, at extreme expense for the last um, eight years or so now. Um, um, Zach has to be supported. Um, I. If, if he were to live independently, I would, um, uh, he would have to have a disability and he would have to have someone check on him, supervision of some kind. Um, I do not believe he could live alone. Um, uh, he could not, he's not safe to be um, allowed to try and take care of himself because the methods he employs are uh, parasitic in nature, essentially. Um, so he would essentially um, either join the criminal underground or jump from house to house, be in a bum, uh, place to place. So um, I can't continue to work with him in this intimate setting that is my home. Um, it is costing me too much my health. But Zach wants to remain, and he does. I'm sorry. Yes, my health is important. Um, I am also taking care of uh, another gentleman who is disabled, similarly to myself, more so than Zach. Both uh, him and I have toxic um, damage to our brains, um, potentially reversible to extent. Um, Zach's damage is repairable, but it's repairable only through development. Um, so he has a significant advantage over us, but um, until there's an objective opinion that he can believe that's not going to go anywhere. So I am uh, believe I'm on the crux of, of accomplishing this, of, of helping achieve, help Zach achieve independence. But I just cannot do it without um, costs over and above my ability to afford, shall we say. Um, so, um, I currently don't have my disability. I um, believe you were um, partially tasked with that several years ago when Zach was tasked with helping me with that. So, I do not have an income. Um, I'm relying on the other person I take care of to fund my uh, ability to take care of myself and him and Zach. Um, so, Zach is dragging on the resources of another person. And what I'm asking from you is for you to substitute those resources and support Zach financially in some manner um, until such time as we can. Remedy the situation ourselves. Anyway, um, I can answer any of your questions objectively in any means you uh, prefer. Uh, email is fine, although I'm not really enjoying the idea of having the State Department watch, uh, you know, inter, uh, deal with my interpersonal relationships. Um, so uh, uh, phone calls would probably be better, as best as I can handle them. Um, I ask your patience. Uh, obviously, uh, emotions are difficult for me to control in uh, these situations, but I uh, will do my best. Um, Anyway, please uh, confirm all this with Zach. Uh, he's sitting next to me. And uh, see if you guys can work something out. Thank you.